Hey guys, in this video, we're breaking down the 5 best survival phone available right now. We've included options for every type of consumer. If you want more information on the best and most up-to-date pricing on the mention be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. The first product on our list is the Unihertz Atom XL smartphone. A unique feature of this Android smartphone is that it is small, making it easy to carry around in a pocket when out in the field. The Unihertz Atom XL is a cheap, capable rugged phone. This phone has a 4-inch display and runs Android 10 with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. Along with being certified to MIL STD 810G, it has an IP68 classification. The phone has a 4300mAh battery that powers it all day long. When there is no cellular service available, you can use the Unihertz Atom XL as a walkie-talkie by connecting the provided antenna to the phone, which also supports digital mobile radio, DMR. This is a fantastic feature for people who work or play outside. At number 2 is the Unihertz Titan Pocket, small QWERTY smartphone. Although the Unihertz Titan was a sizable, durable phone with a QWERTY keyboard, it was simply too big to be used on a daily basis. The Unihertz Titan Pocket, a compact variant that resembles a tough BlackBerry Bold, was just released by Unihertz. The Unihertz Titan Pocket, which sells for a relatively inexpensive $299.99, has a QWERTY keyboard for those professionals who prefer to type on a physical keyboard instead of the phone screen. With 6GB of RAM, 128GB of internal storage, and a 16MP back camera, the device has a 4.5-inch display. Although it weighs 303 grams, this phone is ideal if you desire a BlackBerry-like keyboard. At number 3 on our list is the CAT S62 Pro smartphone. Support for thermal cameras is one fantastic feature that we have seen in several CAT phones. Whether looking for hot spots in a switchboard or looking for them in an emergency, a thermal camera is the ideal field equipment. The 5.7-inch glove mode display, IP68 dust slash water resistance, MIL STD 810H drop test up to 1.8 meters, and other features of the CAT S62 Pro are available. A Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 CPU powers Android 10. The cost is $649. The star of the show is the FLIR Lepton 3.5 thermal camera, which can detect temperatures between minus 20 and 400 degrees Celsius. Moving up at number 4 is the AGM Glory Pro Rugged Smartphone. AGM has been producing tough smartphones for a little more than 5 years, and what stood out about these devices was the effort to maintain a design that was as similar to the conventional cell phones as feasible. Over the past few years, things have changed, and today companies like Cat, Samsung, and Kyocera are producing smartphones that look good and still maintain the essential ruggedness. A minimal deviation is present at the corners of the solid rubber frame that surrounds the smartphone to guarantee that it will survive a drop from that angle. It's a completely different situation if you put the AGM Glory Pro on its other side since we get a sizable circular region where the manufacturer placed the cameras and a protrusion to incorporate a sizable speaker in the center. At number 5 is the Samsung Galaxy Xcover Pro smartphone. Apparently, the Active series wasn't as popular as Samsung may have hoped, and with the S8 Active, the line was discontinued despite its respectable popularity. Samsung has been concentrating more on the entry to mid-level market, where Chinese-made rugged smartphones have dominated for a while, while the luxury tough smartphones have been left behind. Having said that, the Xcover Pro does seem much more like a contemporary smartphone now that the Xcover 4S's wide bezels are gone. We're continuing working with a plastic case that is somewhat portable and measures 6.30 x 3.02 x 0.39 inches. The cover has a rubber-like frame around it that gives the gadget a secure grasp. Due to a unique texture, the back of the smartphone is also intended to prevent the gadget from slipping from your hand, but it is still plastic. So that sums of the today's video. We hope you enjoyed and if you did please leave a like on the video. And if you new here hit that subscribe button. Until next video have a great day.